We do this song and dance every year with Apple. It's update season and Apple has released their latest and greatest OS, Mac OS Ventura. Alrighty then. It's bringing several great new features to the table like stage manager and updates to Safari and mail. But the question is, as creatives, as musicians, as producers, as engineers, should we be updating our systems to the latest and greatest? And I'm gonna give you three reasons why you shouldn't update to Mac OS Ace Ventura. And we're gonna talk about that today. What up with you guys, you know who it is. It's your boy, John Mike back again and today uh we're gonna be digging in deep as to why you should not be updating your system to mac os ace ventura as i call it because I, it, why not i mean that it's just like the easiest meme in the world to use can you feel that buddy huh? 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 so i'm gonna give you three solid reasons why you should not update right now at this moment Reason number one, boys and girls, is compatibility. Compatibility with all of our VSTs. We're talking our contacts, our Omnisphere, Silence, all of the stuff we use for producing and mixing and engineers. This happens every year. Apple does an update. Uh, they send out the beta to the developers and they have time before the fall to get their stuff compatible, but it never happens that way. It never works out that way. It always takes up to a year for us to get full compatibility across all of our plugins, all of our DAWs, all of our softwares that we use on a day-to-day -day basis. As an example, the last OS, Mac OS Monterey, uh, most of our plugin companies just got compatible as of the last couple of months and it's been out over a year. So it's gonna be a bare minimum of at least another six to eight months before everything is really safely compatible. There are some things that do work out the gate uh, that will work. There's some DAWs that do work out the gate with no issues, but you want you don't wanna take that chance if your software is what you use and what you depend on to make your money. So I got a couple of links down in the description of this video and in the pinned comment that allow you to check the compatibility of your software and plugins for uh, the different OS. And I, one more thing I want to leave you guys with this about compatibility. Sometimes you'll look at the list and you'll look at a plugin or software and it will say not supported, but you'll go and you'll open it up in whatever DAW or whatever software uh, and it will work just fine or seemingly work just fine. Not supported doesn't mean that the product doesn't work. It means that the company will not offer you any sort of support or or refund or any kind of uh, punitive damages that may occur from using the software on an unsupported OS. So not supported doesn't mean that it doesn't work. It just means they're not gonna support you or refund you, or you're not gonna be able to sue them if for whatever reason your software going down or your plugin stopping working uh, cost you some, um, some duress or some money. Reason number two is, is that the features that they're offering are gimmicky. They're gimmicky. Stage manager and all of these other little, you know, goofy, I'll just be honest, uh, little features that they're offering are not going to give us as creators, as producers, as musicians, as engineers, they're not gonna bring us any value or any help to our workflow. So updating just so you can take advantage of some new features or some new workflows or whatever uh, is not a good reason to update your system right now. Reason number three and the last reason of the day is you don't update a working system. I preach this consistently and constantly to musicians and creatives, meaning if all of your plugins are working, all of your software is working, all of your, everything is working uh, and you're flowing and you're in the middle of projects or you're in the middle of recording or middle of this, updating your entire operating system to something that may or may not support what you're doing is definitely not a good idea. Now, I'm gonna give you a fourth bonus reason why you shouldn't update, uh, and that is hardware support. So now I know I talk mostly about the software in this video, but hardware is something that you should consider as well. Your audio interfaces, your MIDI controllers, your uh, your regular keyboards, you know, that have drivers, your Yamahas, your Montages, your Nords, all of those things like that that you might be using in a production situation, they have to confirm compatibility uh, with 
Mac OS Ventura as well. Again, some things may work fine out the box, but I've known companies like UAD, Antelope Audio, M Audio, all of these companies like that to have issues with their interfaces working, uh, with their them reading audio with their third party you know, companion software is working and all of that stuff like that. So you definitely not only want to just check to see if your software is working, but you also want to make sure that your hardware is compatible as well before updating. So that's it. Those are my three reasons as to why you should not be updating uh, to Mac OS Ventura at this point. Give it a little bit of time for the companies to get compatible, for bugs to get worked out. There's always going to be bugs. Uh, and typically you'll get an email from uh, the company that you're using their product as to whether it's compatible or not. But the main thing is, is check your compatibility. Uh, don't don't fall for the gimmicky features. Don't update a working system and always, always check to make sure your hardware is compatible before making the leap. Now, if all these things are working and all these things are true, please proceed with caution and go ahead and enjoy mac os ace ventura and if you want to know my thoughts about whether or not you should be updating to the apple mac studio and if it's a good fit for your studio check this video over here and some other videos on this channel and i'll talk to you guys on the next video i'm out holla at your boy